Parts of Trump Georgia grand jury report are released, suggesting possible witness perjury. Special grand jury in Fulton County, Georgia, releases portions of a report suggesting one or more witnesses who testified during their investigation into Donald Trump may have committed perjury. A special grand jury in Fulton County, Georgia, released portions of a report detailing findings from the investigation into whether former President Donald Trump and his allies interfere in the presidential election in Georgia as part of a larger attempt to overturn the results of the 2020 election. The report indicates a majority of the grand jury believes one or more witnesses may have committed perjury in their testimony and recommends that prosecutors pursue indictments against them if the district attorney finds the evidence compelling. The long-awaited important sections of the Georgia report, which do not even mention President Trump's name, have nothing to do with the president because President Trump did absolutely nothing wrong. Trump campaign spokesman Stephen Chilm told Fox News Digital, the president participated in two perfect phone calls regarding election integrity in Georgia, which he is entitled to do. In fact, as president, it was President Trump's constitutional duty to ensure election safety, security, and integrity. Between the two calls, there were many officials and attorneys on the line, including the Secretary of State of Georgia, and no one objected even slightly protested or hung up, Chung continued. President Trump will always keep fighting for true and honest elections in America. Prosecutors and several media organizations had pushed to release the grand jury's full report, but Superior Court Judge Robert McBurney refused to do so, citing very limited due process given to Trump's allies who testified. On Monday, the judge in Georgia said he would release the report's introduction and conclusion along with the section in which the grand jurors expressed concerns that some witnesses may have lied under oath. Any recommendations on who should or should not be prosecuted will remain secret for now to protect their due process rights, McBurney wrote. The report comes as Trump is actively campaigning to return to the White House in the 2024 presidential election. Fulton County District Attorney Fannie Willis is leading an investigation into Trump who is accused of pressuring Georgia officials to find enough votes to prevent President Biden from winning the state. Trump had made numerous claims of widespread voter fraud in Georgia and other states, though his attorneys were unable to support those allegations in various suits challenging the election results. The special grand jury spent about seven months hearing testimony from witnesses, including high-profile Trump allies, such as attorney Rudy Giuliani and Senator Lindsey Graham of South Carolina and high-ranking Georgia officials, such as Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger and Gov. Brian Kemp. McBurney wrote that the full report includes recommendations for Willis, including a roster of who should or should not be indicted and for what in relation to the conduct and aftermath of the 2020 general election in Georgia. Willis will decide whether to bring criminal charges against Trump or his allies in the coming month.